Vanessa Esperanza Espinosa. Today I stand here feeling like the luckiest man alive. It all began in the early months of 2018 when I found myself praying, something I haven't done in a long time. I prayed for three things. First, I asked God something so profound. I asked him to make me a better man. Little did I know that this prayer would set the course for everything that followed. Within a week of that prayer, you appeared in my life like a divine answer. We went on just one date, but in that brief moment, something magical happened. I heard your laugh, your jokes, your stories, and I couldn't stop staring at your smile. And I knew I wanted more. By the time our second date came around, it was undeniable. I was falling for you. My second prayer. I was always hesitant to be fully commit with anyone. So I prayed about it again. And once again, hoping for a sign from God about whether you were the one. And then in a serendipitous moment, I drove past the church called Esperanza, which means hope. And it later struck me that Esperanza was your middle name. That was a sign I've been waiting for. It meant a lot to me. I started to feel like I didn't deserve you. I don't claim to be perfect. And I'm a flawed human being. But you didn't care. Or maybe you thought I could fix him. <laughs> My third prayer. I prayed for patience, expecting it to magically come from above. He said God gave me the opportunity to become more patient through our many, many loving arguments. And then we decided to have a child. And God humorously gifted us with two for the price of one. So now patience became more important than ever. I love you, Cruz and Ezekiel. Before you and I had kids, it was scary to dive into something so fast, but for the first time in my life, I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared to take that leap with you. They say nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. You're worth that and more. Vanessa, having you by my side has not just made my life better, it's made it exponentially better. You've even helped me control my emotions. We aren't perfect. Yes, we argue a lot especially this week, but I don't mind because I'd rather argue with you every day of my life than spend a day without you in it. Vanessa, I vow to be more patient with you, our children, and our life together. I vow to always kiss you, especially forehead kisses because you love those. I vow to do whatever it takes to keep us, our love, and our family together because my biggest regret in life would be not sharing forever with you and our boys. You're an amazing mother to our sons. You're so loving, so patient, and you show me a type of love I could never imagine. Witnessing that makes me love you more each day. That's why today I feel like the luckiest guy alive, because my prayers were answered. Today you become my wife, and there's a movie quote that I always think of since the day I met you, and it's, you make me want to be a better man. Vanessa, you brought me closer to God, you are the reason I am a better man, and you made me a father. I cannot wait to be the best husband for you till the end, and I love you forever. Who comes to present Vanessa to be married to Eric? I do. Eric, standing before you right now, I know this is a big moment, but the truth is, with you, all of them feel like big moments. From dancing in the living room with our boy to binge watching The Office for the 20th time, our daily Starbucks runs, watching you get lost in your world of editing and filming, to me simply sitting down in your office as you work or play Call of Duty, or catching up on our day as you sit on the toilet, being in your presence alone brings me comfort, warmth, and happiness, and I cherish every moment I have with you. I promise to always see you with the same eyes and the same heart that I see you with at this moment. I vow to honor you and respect you, support you and encourage you, to be your biggest supporter, hype man, and best friend. I promise to dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever life brings and never let go. I vow to never stop loving you, to never stop showing it, to never give up on us, our family, to choose you in every lifetime and in every form. To find you in the midst of chaos and hold you. Comfort you when your mind is everywhere at once. Bring you peace when you feel discomfort. 
and make you laugh and smile at all times and be the wife you need until the end of time. Five years with you and a lifetime to go. Who honestly would have thought that this was going to be our story? Because I didn't. <laughs> all from a simple Instagram DM message you sent me back in May 2018 that said, hi. <laughs> And now today, in front of family and friends, I say yes to you, our boys, and God between us. I love you so much, forever and always, your bubble. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll, uh, you know, hey, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, but, and thank you for giving me your hand. So. I want to thank you all for welcoming my daughter into your family, for giving me peace of mind, knowing that when she's away from my house, she's in good hands. The hardest thing as a parent and as a father is to see your daughter. It's a blessing to see them at home, to be born. It's a blessing to see them grow. But it's very hard to see them. That's probably one of the hardest things as a father I've come to see. I've always asked one thing of Eric. Take care of my daughter. And so far, you've done a great job. Eric, Fratino and I always wanted our children to find a man that would love them as much as we loved our children, with our daughter, and we have. I see the love that you have for Vanessa, and I see the love that Vanessa has for you. So I hope these moments right now, these memories today carry you through your lifetime. I hope that when Ezekiel and Cruz look at you every day, they're reminded this is what love looks like. absolutely waiting right now and honestly just being able to witness you guys get married commit your life to each other was truly a blessing to Vanessa and Eric Ochoa Hope I'm invited for the 25 and 50 year anniversary. So, God bless you. One, two, three. Uh, Joa.